For a few years now, Gordon pulls the local service between the two big stations at either end of the line. He's been doing it since the Fat Controller had purchased Pippin Emma to do the Express to London. There's another sort of train like that for goods. It's called Slow Goods. An engine stops at each station with trucks shunted to their train. Usually the Fat Controller's utility engines do the job, and sometimes engines like Henry as well. Although engines like James and Gordon dislike these trains. One day, Gordon was just waking up in the shed. He was surprised that he was up early. Oh, good morning, driver. You're starting early? Yawned Gordon. Usually he's up a little later for his local service. Good morning, Gordon. Where to take the slow goods train today? Gordon gasped in horror. Sl slow goods? As in... Trucks? Certainly, replied his driver. I won't go, he protested. I won't. Don't be silly. We all know what happened those years ago at Vickers Town when it comes to you and trucks. Gordon felt very embarrassed. Years ago, he prevented hauling a special goods by falling into the ditch by accident and stayed there for the whole day. So with steam up, the big blue engine puffed away. I can't understand why the fat controller would want his most prized locomotive of his fleet holding a dirty goods train. What about James or Derek or the Scottish Twins? They're capable of trains like this. Not an engine of my caliber, he ranted. His fireman told him that Derek was to be looking after the Bluebell branch line, James was to be for a repaint of the works, and the Twins were now looking after the Little Western with Duck and Oliver. Gordon puffed away, grumbling. Pulling trucks, pulling trucks, he huffed. He stopped by the junction of Thomas's branch line, waiting for Mavis and trucks from the quarry. Mavis had arrived on time, but Gordon thought it had been ages. Come on, he growled. Keep your piston stable, Gordon, said Mavis crossly. As she was shunting the trucks towards Gordon's train, Gordon was still being grumpy. This is taking forever! If I were a shunting engine, I would shunt this train quickly! But I thought tender engines don't shunt, teased Mavis. Then she laughed. So did the trucks. But Gordon just wished steam angrily from his safety valve. <laughs> Finally, the trucks were coupled up and Gordon puffed away. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! He puffed. As he neared Wellsworth, he collected more and more trucks until he had a very long train. It was planned to have Diesel to shunt the train for him, as well as banking up the hill. But a last minute change on Edward's line was made, and now there was no shunting engine to shunt the trucks to his train. The station master came up to him. You'll have to shunt the trucks yourself, I'm afraid. Shunting! Gordon snapped and was red in the face with anger. Tender engines don't shunt! I'd rather wait for an engine than waste away being a slow shunter! But the fireman uncoupled him from the train and the driver pulled the lever and Gordon puffed away towards the brake van. Gordon was embarrassed. As Gordon was past the brake van, he had an idea. Driver, why can't we couple the trucks by pushing the ones we have towards them? It'll save the time. Gordon's driver was worried, but we have to arrange by order. We'll arrange it as soon as we get madam. So that is what they did. But as the train was moving into the siding, there was a problem. The foreman and accidentally placed the turntable in the wrong place and some of the trucks and wheels went off the rails. And what made it worse is that they smashed right through the turntable well. But the train was so long that Gordon Noy's crew didn't notice the accident 
until the guard blew his warning whistle. Then they saw the wreckage. Thankfully, no excessive damage was done. Unfortunately, the turntable was out of commission. The works train arrived to clear the wreckage and the fat controller spoke to Gordon as well as the foreman after they explained everything. I know that this is an accident, but you, my good man, need to understand your position more properly next time. Yes, sir, replied the foreman. Then he turned to Gordon. Gordon, I heard that you were being rude to the other engines due to your boasting about that tender engine stowed shut. Clearly, I can see that. Not only have you decided to shunt a whole train to make everything easy, but not to arrange a train that's clearly out of order. Tender engines like you don't shunt because you don't have any experience in shunting. There are tender engines that do shunt on the mainland and the broad, and they're either on a heritage railway or a mainland shore. Shunting is part of being an engine, and if you don't like it, then that's tough because they're my orders, and orders are there when they're given to. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, replied Gordon sadly. For the rest of the week, Gordon was told to haul slow goods trains until he learns about the importance of shunting.